Hello Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have the LEGO Minecraft The Frozen Peak set. The set number is 21243, has 304 pieces, four-ish minifigures, and one build. Without further ado, let's take a look at those minifigures. So for our first figure, we have Steve in, is this emerald armor? Turtle armor? No, it's probably just dyed leather armor, maybe a turtle helmet, because that's the same color that they use for the turtle helmet. However, it can be whatever you want. I kind of like to think of it as the rare emerald armor, and that's super cool. And underneath the torso is just the regular Steve and this regular Steve head. Steve includes a diamond sword, and yeah, I'm not mad that they include this Steve because a lot of the other sets include exclusive figures. So yeah, overall, good little figure. Next, we get a creeper, which hasn't changed from the beginning. And we get a stray, which kind of has changed from the beginning. Here I have the original stray from the igloo set. And as you can see, it comes with a really detailed and exclusive cloth piece, which just is fantastic. But this time Lego included a stray with a gold chest plate. And you know what? I'm a little disappointed by that. It just seemed like a cheap way to get out of making something super cool and super awesome for just a cheaper alternative. I wish they would have included the cloth piece. I know it, I know it, they didn't need to, and sometimes it's easier and this can easily rip, but this figure's so cool with that cloth piece and I wish Lego would have included it, but it's all right. We got a stray, which is good because that was the only set that, the igloo set was the only one that came with a stray. And so now we have another one for people that want it. So yeah, now let's take a look at the next one. And we get a goat, and we've gotten a few goats by now, but I'm glad that LEGO keeps including them. And of course, the head can go down, which is important for the play feature, which you'll see. The only thing I wish goats would have is printed horns, because they are supposed to be gray, and just on here, they're white. But for right now, I think they're fine, because, you know, it's a cool little head mold piece. I really like the goats. So this is a build that I've been looking forward to for a long time, because LEGO Minecraft doesn't do a lot of terrain builds, and this is a terrain build and I really like it. And there's a lot of really cool detail. So of course we have this big rock mountain and over here we have a taiga or the start of a taiga forest with a spruce tree. We got some berry bushes, a bucket of milk, a torch and teen tea. And of course we got some brown mushrooms on this side. You can start to see that there is a little bit of the stalagmites or stalactites. I still know the difference. Um, but yeah, it's the entrance to a cave house, which when you go here, it is a little bit of a facade, but you know, I don't mind it too much. It is a cave base, which is super cool because I feel like I've made a lot of cave bases in Minecraft. We have two ores over here, some iron ore and cold or coal ore. We have a yellow bed, crafting table, another torch, some glow lichen, which is new in the Minecraft world, uh, for Lego at least. And of course we have the new chest. And inside we have a diamond pickaxe, some bread, I think there's two loaves in there, and of course the cherry builds for berries. And those are just the little berries that you can get from, you know, mining or farming those outside, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's really it for the inside of the build. It's not much, but I really do like that build. Now on the outside, we have a play feature where it comes with the creeper and TNT, so you know, you already know what the play feature is. Basically, you take this TNT, put it under here, and boom, this entire wall breaks off to reveal the inside of the base. And now Steve has to quickly rebuild so that the mobs don't get into his base. But yeah, basic little play feature, and yeah, you know, it's all right. I don't know if I like this hole in there. It's kind of distracting, but then also, in a way, it's a way to defend. Like, Steve could be shooting arrows from the outside and killing creepers from way out here, you know? There's also emerald, which leads me to believe more that this is the rare emerald armor, which is not in the game, but you know, emerald armor. There is a really funny play feature though at the top of this bit, where, I don't know if you can see, there is a stud right here. And if you go like this, it slides. And you may be wondering what that is for. Well, if you attach the goat right here and put the head down, Let's just say Steve is, you know, about to go mine those emeralds. The goat can charge in and push Steve off the mountain, which is so fun. And it works so well. You can also do it with any of the other mobs. Like, let's say there's a stray right here who's about to kill Steve, who is unknowingly about it. The goat can save the day and just, pa, 
now the stray is hurt or dead so yeah that is a really fun play feature and one that has been definitely needed because of the goat's ability to do that and i love that it is so fun and you can do it with just so many minifigures and it's just, just great ha! oh that's right you have to put the horns down my bad ha! the creeper is immune the horns don't hit it i can get it i got this um let's have the creeper like this ah oh i think creepers are immune to it oh no anyway that's it for the build now let's take a look at the packaging and the my final verdict so here is the box for the set and as i said for all these i really don't like those new backgrounds they're really bad i hope lego goes back to the old way on the back of the box it just shows some of the special features which is pretty cool but now let's take a look at the instructions so for the instructions it has one little mistake which i thought was interesting where they used the wrong figure for the progress bar i mean that one came in the diamond sword like outpost set not this set so that i thought that was kind of funny as i was building it they and it's not just this page it's every single page they use that figure so that was interesting um at the back it shows you the set all built up it shows the sets of this wave and this is the final set i have to review for this wave so yeah take a look at the rest there's a minecraft playlist on my channel you can see all the reviews for these sets plus the swamp uh, set as well then here's the piece count and then the win but now let's take a look at those leftover pieces so for the leftover pieces there aren't many i do like getting this yellow technic pin because i don't have a lot of those and the cherry piece which is nice but that's it for the leftovers so for my final verdict i love this set and the reason why i love this set is this is some terrain builds there's not a lot of terrain builds in the lego minecraft's world and when you start well not world in the lego minecraft world there's not many terrain builds if you look back at some of the sets there's a lot of player boat things whether that be houses and yeah sure there is a house back there or you know there's just a lot of underground stuff there's a lot of uh structures like the deep dark and those are all great and believe me i love that they do those builds however there's not a lot of big mountains and other terrain that is useful in the minecraft world and so sometimes that can be a little bit annoying however this set has that as well as the inside of the house to add a little more play value into it because i know lego wants to make money and you can't just sell a mountain because not many people would buy that because it's not interesting, but I like that Lego is trying it and I hope people buy this set. I really do because I want more of these. I really, really want more terrain builds and yeah, overall, it's a really good set. I think the selection of figures is great. I like that we get the green armor, even though that's not really how dyed leather armor lo looks. It's kind of fun to think that it's emerald armor and the stray is great in inclusion i just wish it came with the cloth piece and the mountain goat's great and the build is great for 35 dollars this is a little more on the pricey side but i would like to see it at 30 so it's not far off you know i think at in 2023 it's a fine fine build and for a fine price as well overall this is an a plus for me i hope lego does more sets like these with more terrain please we need more terrain <laughs> but yeah that's it for this video. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about the set and below. Do you like more of the like player built stuff or do you like the more terrain stuff? Because some of my favorite Minecraft sets are the more terrain built stuff. But yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.